Things are about to get macho. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most badass anime protagonists. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the leading men in anime that are the absolute pinnacle of manliness. Keep in mind, we'll only be including males on this list, but don't worry, if you're looking for some hard as nails ladies like Revy, you can check out her and others on our previous list on the top 10 badass women in anime. Furthermore, we'll only be including characters that are the faces of their respective franchise. As such, don't expect to see the likes of Zoro or Kamina down the line. Just who the hell do you think I am, Fuzzball? Number 10, Ryoma Nagare. Get a Robo Franchise. This world has seen enough of your treachery. With a righteous heart, a somewhat aggressive temperament, and a giant freaking robot at his command, this veteran of the franchise may be a little on the simplistic side, but his accomplishments speak for themselves. Long time no see, Gramps. I don't know how you got here, but I'm sending you right back! As the pilot of the Eagle, Ryoma has put the kibosh on all manner of alien invaders over the years. Though if we had to choose, his Geta Robo Armageddon incarnation is by far the most awesome of the bunch. It's so obvious it's hysterical. He can even make a phrase as nonsensical as Stoner Sunshine sound like the most badass thing on the planet. Stop! Number 9, Toyohisa Shimazu, Drifters. When it comes to historical warriors, you can do a lot worse than choosing the likes of Toyohisa to fight in your corner. While originally fated to die during the Battle of Sekigahara, the crimson-clad samurai finds himself recruited by the mysterious Murasaki in order to save a fancy land from some of history's most infamous villains. With a bloody splash of an introduction, Toyohisa showed zero mercy when it came to slaughtering those who would suppress the innocent. Other than that, he's a pretty chill guy. <laughs> Number 8, Yusuke Yurameshi, Yu Yu Hakusho. If I win this time, I don't ever want to see you back up. The original Shonen bad boy. So sorry you caught me on such a bad day. It makes me a real jerk. <laughs> While never one to hold back on the punches, after going through a minor case of death, Yusuke finds himself given a new career as a spirit detective, allowing him to take some of that rebellious nature and put it to good use by, uh, blowing the crap out of demons with his bare hands. You go ahead and try. <laughs> While always up to fight the good fight, Yusuke's unyielding willpower and loyalty to his posse makes him something of a force of nature, one that no demon would want to get on the wrong side of. <laughs> Number 7, Alucard, Helsing Ultimate. A dog for the Church of England, not even fit to call himself a vampire! A Silence! <laughs> I'm a dog. <laughs> Then your dog food. <sighs> you can't bring up anime killing machines without talking about the king of vampires. Now, Luke Valentine, it's time to educate you on how a real vampire does battle. In service to the Helsing family, the former count now spends his days exterminating the likes of wannabe bloodsuckers, ghouls, crazy Catholics, and of course, Nazis. Open sesame. While his slaying is often for a good cause, Alucard is above all else a monster, one who relishes any chance to summon up a few familiars and revel in a good old massacre. It takes a man in order to kill a monster. The fact he's so suave and actually has a multitude of surprisingly human layers just makes him all the more entrancing. <laughs> <laughs> Number 6, Captain Harlock. Captain Harlock franchise. My friend has called on us to journey through space once again. 
In terms of space pirates, you won't find a more romanticized version in all of classic anime, even if he does occasionally find himself having to run away from a whole swarm of screaming space Amazons. Learn to treat those that have passed away, holding on to their beliefs with respect. That is what a real man does. With an abject hatred for all totalitarian regimes, a natural rebellious swagger, and the classic swashbuggling look down to a T, I'll have you know that I for one came here not because I was told to, but because I wanted to. I see. Harlock is a gem when it comes to star-faring adventurers who prefers to settle problems with a laser blaster. Probably explains how his legacy was able to endure over all these years. Arcadia. Let's go. Number 5. Domon Cashew. Mobile Fighter G Gundam. What do you plan to do, bro? It's obvious. I'm gonna have to open up the Hall's coffin. Only a beast like Domon could make a line as corny as this sound epic. This hand of mine is burning red. Its loud roar tells me to grasp victory! As the pilot of the God Gundam, Domon and his beloved engineer Rain manage to fight their way through a series of brutal mecha battles, claiming victory with the power of his burning will and shining finger. Yes, it sounds lame, until you see his Gundam rip through robot heads like they were butter. He's certainly one of the franchise's greatest hotheads, but you can't deny he gets results when the time calls for it. I'll continue until one day I can use this sword! Number 4 Spike Spiegel, Cowboy Bebop. Did you understand? It's a trap! Yeah, I know. I know the whole sad story. There's cool, and then there's this space cowboy. 2.5 million Wulongs, that's your bounty. I said you were a small fry. As anime's slickest bounty hunter, Spike and the crew of the Bebop traverse the cosmos in search of bounties, always finding themselves hiddling from one deadly scenario to the next. What's wrong if you don't comply? As a result, we're not only treated to Spike's infectiously cocky attitude, but also his mastery of both martial arts and marksmanship, both of which have led to some of anime's most thrilling action scenes. Who else do you know who could take down an entire syndicate headquarters with nothing more than a pistol and a couple of grenades? Number 3, Jotaro Kujo. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. <laughs> Don't get us wrong, every iteration of Jojo is awesome in their own special way. But when it comes to sheer badassery, Jotaro is in a league of his own. <laughs> While he's something of a bastard that would rather break faces than make friends, the sudden resurrection of Dio forces him into the role of an unlikely hero, one thrown into countless battles against other stand users. <laughs> We all know deep down, he's a good lad, but rest assured, cross him, and you'll end up getting a mouthful of aura aura auras. <laughs> Number 2 Kenshiro, Fist of the North Star. Whether you know him from his insane amount of muscles, his classic catchphrase, or the fact that he makes heads explode by poking them, we can all agree that Kenshiro is one of the most hardcore characters to ever wander across a post-apocalyptic wasteland. One of the last masters of the deadly art of Hokuto Shinken, Kenshiro spends his days saving innocents and causing the insides of raiders to go kaboom. <laughs> He's a man of few words, but when he does speak, you'd better listen, because there's likely a chance someone is about to get reduced to a puddle of gore. Before we reveal our number one pick, here's some honorable mentions. Yeah! 
Are you ready, guys? Yeah! All right, let's gun it! Yeah! yeah! You've got that long to get those badasses over here. I'll count with his fingers until you get back. This is one. <laughs> Number one, Guts. Berserk franchise. I'll let you live so you can take a message to your master for me. Tell him the Black Swordsman has come. So here's the rundown on our main man. He was born from a corpse, been fighting on battlefield since he was a child, assisted in ending a hundred year war, took a literal demon head on and lived to tell the tale, fought and killed 100 men by himself in one night, ended up suffering the ultimate betrayal and was left to be torn apart by a horde of monsters. Driven! And you know what? It just pissed him off even more. With a life filled with so much pain, hatred and violence, most people would have just succumbed to grief a long time ago. Then again, they weren't guts. Don't kill me! And what is it you said when those people begged you for mercy? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.